Well, I'm very happy to receive it, and I'm very happy because I know once the news hits the public, my immediate family, which is very large, my well, my children, there, my grandchildren, all my nephews and nieces, and there are hundreds of them in Auckland and around New Zealand and the Pacific, all my family in Samoa and America will be very happy. Also that, I also know once my friends, who I've had for a long time, and my former students, there are hundreds of them, because as you know, I've been teaching since I was in my late teens. And I'm happy because those are the people which I owe this award to, whether I have the love and support of my family and my friends and my former students and, and the reading public. So you I, I wouldn't be enough. I mean, I wouldn't be here receiving this award. What was your reaction when you found out? Um, no. I was very flattered, and I, uh, you know, I, I sort of said, to you, so when you write, and you've been, I've been writing now for, uh, since the 60s when I first started publishing, and the fear that all artists have, or writers especially, is you write a book, who is out there reading, is there anybody reading it? So the fear you have is nobody's reading it, so what you are doing is absolutely useless. It's good to get feedback from uh, readers, critics, and your family, and your friends but you always have that fear. Um, so this really is my country, my country saying to me, we, appreci we, have appreci we appreciate you, we've appreciated your work over these years, and we want to give you this honor.